Now, what is taking place in our parliament is unprecedented. I've never heard of where the speaker who tell the members of parliament things like, if you go and speak to the media or through the media, you do it at your own peril. If you say something, you are doing it up at your own risk. I'm, I'm starting to wonder, where is this authority coming from, trying to guard the members of parliament? In parliament now, it has become a norm. Anyone who is from the left-hand side of the speaker has no right to rise on a point of order, has no right to question, but or to make any, you know, like any running commentaries. But the UPND members of parliament, they can do anything, anything that they wish to do, including the ministers. The best example that I want to give, when we stood on point of orders, the presiding officer refused to accord us that, and he even made a, an announcement to say he's not going to entertain any point of order. As if that was not enough. We continued the business. The next thing, a member of parliament for UPND stands up on point of order, is granted. When we, some of us stood on point of order, we were denied that opportunity. Um, the Minister of Home Affairs stands on point of order is granted. Where on earth have you seen a, a, a speaker debating? Imagine having a ref, even at a FIFA World Cup, having a ref who's playing football instead of uh, re being a referee. How, how, how will they, the, foot, the football players play the football? The one who's supposed to be a ref is, is the one who is debating, the one who is supposed to be the presiding officer, just to listen and to guide, is the one who is debating answers on behalf of ministers, uh, speaking on behalf of the other side. Sometimes our colleagues will stand and they will make tribal remarks. Everyone is quiet. The last time all of you, you condemned that uh, the way you debated. No, I was just giving back to what our colleagues did because no one spoke anything against what they said. The, the MP for Chikankat, she was so tribal, so tribal. We tried to rise on point of order. The, the pres presiding officer was just quiet. When it came to me, I was being tribal. I want to urge all the Zambians to start watching parliament proceedings. It's getting out of hands, and this is how dictatorship starts, trying to guard the me members of parliament. According to Commonwealth, uh, parliament practice or parliamentary practice, any member of parliament who is not happy with the ruling of a presiding officer or what is taking place on the floor of the house has the right to walk out of parliament. Okay? Has the right. You go out, you protest, and if you want, you can come back. But now we are seeing rules which are not even in our standing orders. We are seeing rules which are not even in the Constitution. Members of Parliament, they have a privilege and they have even some rights that they have. But there we are being, when you start speaking about the truth, you become an enemy. When the Zambians woke up on the 12th of August 2021, they went to change what they saw was not right in the nation. Here we are. In parliament, day in, day out, we're being intimidated by the presiding officers. When you see some of us standing and start to speak with anger, it's because we're, th we're saying you cannot oppress us. You cannot oppress us. Especially for some of us who are elected genuinely Unlike these who, who, in order to for them to stand, I'm not going to go into that. Madam Speaker, it's difficult for me to come to your office because I know you'll not attend to me unless I'm from UPND now. I'm using the social media to tell you that what you're doing is wrong. You are the mother 
of parliament. You are supposed to, to be a referee between the right and the left. Not where it's seen that, oh, this is the favorite child. Who should be bitter? The one who lost the, 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 the elections or the one who won the elections? Our colleagues on the right side of me, Madam Speaker, ha, has continued to be so bitter, belittling everyone in parliament. And the speaker would not rule. Everything that we do on the left-hand side is wrong. We had Honorable Matibin. We never saw this. Even some members from UPND, they've complained, what is happening? And we've told them, you are the ones who brought this speaker. We can't go on like this. Madam Speaker, Deputy Speaker number two, Mr. Moyo, can you change? How dare you, you talk to me to say you are ranting when others, the other side, they are talking. The Minister of Justice was talking nonsense. I questioned, we say question. When you do disagree, you say question. When you agree, we say here, here, here. The one, the one that people here are saying like, yeah, 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 yeah. It's here, 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 here. And I'm being told you are doing rantings in here. Can a, an elected person go out to do rantings in parliament? Just because I debated on the issue of human rights commission, we cannot have a commissioner who is politically inclined. Uh, inclined. You, you have a human rights commissioner tweeting things and writing things about opposition members of parliament where Savoy Imboela, you know, reacted. And you call that a human rights commissioner who is supposed to tell people about the, their human rights. Now, if she shows the colors of being politically, you know, inclined, where would people go to and complain? It's getting out of hands, and we cannot go on like this as Zambians. And if they feel they are going to intimidate us, if they want to kill us, I'm going back tomorrow in there. People should not say, no, you are irreverent. No. We are fighting for the Zambians. Once they gag the opposition, then we, there's no one to speak. We cannot all be praise singers. It can never be like that. Moreover, we are elected members of parliament. We are there to represent the people where we come from. From time to time, you want to speak, he will allow this Moyo who allow other people, you know, the members of parliament from UPND to rise on point of order, point of order, point of order, point of order to distract us. As if we try even to talk things that are reasonable, you want to complain. There was some kind of noise that happened there. An area member of parliament from Kafue states decides to take a phone to take a video of me, which is illegal, but no one has rebuked her. If I did that tomorrow, I should have been called. Whatever UPND members of parliament say in parliament, it goes with the presiding officer. The message I have for you, Madam Speaker, and your two deputies, that's not your house. It's ours who are elected. You are there to guide, not to debate or to answer on behalf of the, 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 the members, uh, the, the, the ministers. It will be very prudent, my mother, my speaker. If you can watch, maybe you start watching, uh, especially Honorable uh, Speaker uh, Amusa Mwamwa. Watch him. And we have Anna Lumango there. She was once a deputy speaker. Watch their videos. Listen to their, their judgment, their ruling. This one stands up. Mr. Speaker, blah, 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 blah. He's the honorable member from Chienge in order. My ruling, she's out of order. Next, when the other say they're talking nonsense, nonsense, this must stop. You are not going to gag us and you're not going to intimidate us. If they find that you, you, are, not, you are not a thief, they've got nothing on you, then they have to frustrate you in parliament. Zambia has never seen such kind of things in parliament. This is pure dictatorship. And I'm going to write a letter also to IPU to complain. 
We cannot be treated like kids in parliament. No. That's where we express ourselves. That's where we speak on behalf of people how they're feeling. You see, Honorable Mnia Zulu, to be speaking all those things, each time he stands up, another member of parliament from UPN who saw this boy, that's being disrespectful. He's an elected member of parliament. But instead, the tables will turn and the other person is punished. This is not what Zambians voted for. We have our forefathers who fought for real independence. Even my own father, he was a Unipis. He suffered for this country. And I'm not going to allow anyone just to dare to say, now we've got freedom. Which freedom are you talking about? You mean all that, all these years, these, our, fo our fo founder fathers did, they did nothing. As if that is not enough. Somebody too was debating that for the past 58 years, Zambia has never respected human rights. Only UPN has respected nonsense, so-called human rights. Which human rights? When the human rights commissioners are full-time politicians, When we want to question, because you have to be factual on the floor of the house. When we want to question, how can you say that since, since independence, Zambia has never had human rights? Are you sure? In Mukush, my husband survived by grace of God. After he passed, it was the member of parliament for Mukushi, Mukushi North, the guns. They call these guys. Then the police failed even to, to, to pack them in the cells. When I say these people, the only thing that we've changed is the color of the regalia, and the only thing that we've changed is just the name. People think I'm crazy. We cannot be going to parliament and be treated like kids. You see, sometimes when we start reacting like that, making noise, it's because we are being oppressed. You know, when something is in a, in a pressure, try to put pressure in something. The only way that thing will express itself, it will pop. Honorable Moyo, Deputy Speaker number two, you must change. I can assure you, you must change. You can think of suspending me, that has got nothing to do, that will not affect me. But the way I react, the way I wanted to beat up the member of parliament for Kafiwe, I'll do it. You cannot let others, taking videos of others, we've had differences in that parliament, and you can't even rule. I want to talk about you, you tell me to sit down. Each time this deputy speaker number two sits there, it's Kafiwe, it's Sekas, it's beyond Sekas. I don't even know how to, ex to, to call it. It's like a beer holo, chipante pante, everything is upside down. And you know, deliberately, who are me left hand side, ni shut up. Who you guy mo, every now and then right hand side. Like they don't understand that we are equal before the rules of the house. If I were them, I would be ashamed of my leaders, honestly. I would be so ashamed. When PF walked out on that day, the speaker, herself the speaker, she was busy sending words to those who were leaving. No, 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 no sitting allowance for those who, who are working out. Where on earth? Which law is she using? Even the Commonwealth parliamentary procedures or the, common, the practice. You walk out when you're not happy. It's your right as a member of parliament. Now it's getting worse. If you try to talk, you debate, then you become an enemy. Where is democracy? The same presiding officers who say that when they, they left debate, you have the chance to, to respond. In your debate, that's how it should be. But the same speaker will tell you, you cannot say that when somebody rises up, 
and they are treated Let me just say this. Let me just say this. Stop the rubbish. If you think this country belongs to you. And you know, you, you're lucky. You write on Facebook. Ask those who are in parliament. It took men to stop me. If I can catch you, then you, you appreciate we are not going to let anyone assault our constitution in the name of the, the majority. And you push yourself too much to PF, rubbish, nonsense. Go and write that on your UPND page. You think you are going to shut us up? You think you are going to oppress us? That will never happen. That will never happen. Zambia, I've never seen this. Even in PF, I never saw things like this. Would have been not talking in parliament. UPND used to walk out from time to time, from time to time. Even when they didn't recognize ECL, they would walk out. But you push yourself so much to PF. I could double in UPND and you. And don't come and write nonsense here. And if you think you've been paid, you think you are going to shut us up, watch me in parliament. Watch me in parliament. And whoever they mbapa, in the forever you pompa, just come to parliament, or panse young and up, but you won't You think to win elections is a simple thing, as an independent, in a, an environment that is hostile. It's just not fair. And this thing we are club on that you are a leader, don't be emotional. And some of you, if you are playing and we let this democracy slip off our hands, mukapapasana, tomorrow it will be your child who wants to be in politics. Then mukachimiangira. Mukachimiangira. Mukachimiangira and demieva. This is how dictatorship yamba. In a shamonako. Muno. I was young, I was not watching parliament. But you have MMD, PF, the way we are being treated. And for me to come out so strong is because I'm just fed up. I'm really fed up. A member of parliament has all the privileges and rights. If you atinga waya kuna ni kana you go and speak to the media, you do it at your own risk. Where on earth? And we have the so-called human rights. Honorable Moyo, the deputy speaker number two, you must change. Really, you must change. And I hope somebody will just get this to show you. If you have no way to have a no way to have a left hand side, that somebody cannot tell you, Mama, what could I tell a quitch village? Nene, she didn't want to show up with a tell a quitch village. No, you cannot disrespect me for over my rights. Could I put in a put in a PF for come Don't bring it to me. This is the message I have for you. I sent you a note to explain to you why I stood up on the point of order. Say so somebody was taking a video of me, which is illegal, and you just ignore. If it was so, UPN would not have been in parliament the way they used to debate in the previous session. I've never seen such a thing, honestly. If given a chance, I would want to go through all the proceedings, the 12th session, I don't know for the 11th session if they, were, they had cameras. I would want to see, because I wasn't in the country. This is just wrong. My last words, my last words, 
to my mother, who is the speaker of the house, please change. I'm talking to you as a fellow woman. It's painful to campaign and we spend money. I'm not saying you cannot rebuke us, but the way you're handling the, 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 the proceedings in parliament, no, no. No. Even if you were appointed by His Excellency, you are there not to show your political inclination. You shouldn't do that. We cannot be coming to Parliament squatting in Muchidiro. No. That's where we express ourselves. That's where we talk. Most of people, Bala complain, and she to come Parliament. As for me, Madam Speaker, I've tried to defend you, but I can't defend you anymore. When it comes to trips going overseas, I want to talk about this. There's what we call IPU. There they expect all the political parties to attend. But you'll find that for UPND, that has never happened in PF. We never used to travel like that. For UPND, then they get one, two, to go. Everything. A trip comes in my name, is given to someone else. What is going on? What is just going on? They should never be like this. When you go to IPU, you are supposed to give a book that is showing the members of parliament you've come with and their political uh, parties. But when we went recently, they couldn't even show because they knew that IPU asked them why they have four from UPND. Four. If you come to look at committees, uh, committees, you look who are heading these committees. Everything just to be UPND, UPND, you. It doesn't work like that. To an extent whereby, even when uh, Parliament TV wanted to inter interview me, I told them yesterday, why do you want to interview me only today? Since I came, they have interviewed all the UPND, they have interviewed all the PF, and then I should be a second thought. No, we are only left with 20 people. I said, no, I'm not interested in your camera. The people of Chengi know how I'm working, and I'm not, I, I'm not interested. One thing is that when you talk about CDF, I'm one of the MPs who worked so hard with 1.6. Even this 25, I'm working, but I don't have time. The people of Chenge will see, this is CDF, this is CDF, this is CDF, and I have no time even to get a contract. Some will be showing you they're doing this because they're getting contracts. I've got no time, nothing to do with the government money. This must stop. Really, this must stop. If they want to put that house on fire, it will happen and there will be one person who will run and get that mess. Once the mess is taken out, then parliament has been dissolved. Even the president is no longer president. That's why it can happen. But she keeps on pushing, pushing, pushing. Parliament wants a back, we are back to square one, we are Because I think that's what they are looking for. Every day people are crying, are crying, are crying. If you debate, you speak, and you are not being factual. I Facebook. President YNDC, Vale Chinjan Yama words with a certain human rights commissioner. Eh? Because the Human Rights Commission is supposed to tell people about their human rights of affiliation, of partnership, access to education, good health, whatever, whatever. They are the ones to do that. Now you find Umuntuni High Human Rights Commissioner. Eric forefront, Ukula Seka, my opposition. No Kula Valembe fin to Pananikan Patuita. What kind of human rights commissioner is that? Do you think we can have? Uh, confidence that if I report a case of human rights being abused, this person will listen to me? 
No. I'm really, really disturbed and I'm very angry. I'm not only disturbed because our country, my father gave birth to me. He fought for this nation. He was a unipist, strong unipist. These are the guys who used to get jailed. Some of these people, their parents never even fought for the, for, for the independence of this country. And you should come and start making, frustrating members of parliament. You want to make them not to speak. Who says? Just to find a way of embarrassing us. So that somebody can stand on point of order, Madam Speaker. This one walked out of parliament. You think 2000 will take me anyway? You can keep it. But your time of reckoning is coming. Is coming. There's a God in heaven. I can assure you, 2026. There's a God in heaven who sees the tears of people. Others feel them. But for me, for me, they never. Mumi nom. Avantu bale vota. Bemi no mulongo. Six koloko. Ngani fuego kuchi engen na radio station vaoche la po. Avantu limbi mena bala leta change. Kanchi po yipu ilo. Muni lo kufuma pa 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 Uwe talande kwa shut up. Uwe talande kwa shut up. No. It shouldn't be like that. No. We have the right. When I look at my NRC and the details, it shows that I'll, I'll, I'm born in uh, Chief Puta's chiefdom and I'm from Puta Chiengi district. And then it says Zambia, nationality. That's all I know. So when I look at my NRC, it tells me that I have all the constitution rights. Just like the way UPND is enjoying on the floor of the house. Me too, I have those rights. Vamoyo, uh-uh. Uh-uh. Mulekefi. I'm telling you. Gamwaliba bita, pantu ba PF ba nimishire. Mule rwana bena. Ine. Ine. Na chala ndana kurejo station nimo. Eight months before ama adoption, somebody tipped me. Tupale ya misemba yi kafe ba PF. Tetuwa mishita adopt. I started working hard pushing the ground on my own. I just want to tell all you independents, if you think you PNG will adopt you or PF, <laughs> you'll be a one-term MP. Why? They will be so sweet and they will use you on the floor of the house and you agree with them come 2026. Then you remember to all those the independents, you remember but some of you are independent. Thank God. So, John Demi Rombako, our honorable Moyo, Deputy Speaker number two, Filamanch Chita, uh uh. We are some somber van too. We are human beings. And if you're not careful, Maka would to call Uraka such Miapochi mess Chilia. Parliament will be dissolved. It means that our president is Tahuli. So, Mula ishwe fi abu chita wa antumudia. Mula wa pressure. We are not there to be entertained by UPND members of parliament and their ministers. No. 